Thank you for visiting uh, my first post on um, piano tips. Um, for a long time now, it's been my desire to take some of the things that I've learned over the years, some of the most important things I've learned, uh, and, and begin to share it with others so that they don't have to wade through the many things that I had to over the years. And I can just kind of give you some simple tips that should really make a huge difference in your playing. So uh, I want you to know that um, anything that you guys are interested in finding out, learning more about either very basic or some of the more advanced things, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Reply either to this post uh, or you can email me at claycollinsmusic at gmail.com to uh, give me your questions or anything that you'd like to see posted here. Uh, I would love to help you guys out in any way that I can. So let's get started with this first, uh, this first technique is basically uh, something I call waiting. And basically all that means is giving some notes higher velocity and weight than others. And that's done on a strip line, you know, on a, uh, you just draw a line mentally in your mind from left to right where the notes on your left side, your left hand, are given less weight than the ones on the right hand. So let's go to the keyboard and see what we can, see what we can do with this. So basically what this um, technique involves is it's a really simple concept. It takes a little bit of practice to implement, but basically what you want to do is um, draw a line from the bottom of your keyboard up, or really from the bottom of your left hand or your right hand, and you want to draw a gradient in your mind that goes from low to high. And basically what that means is that notes down here on your left hand are going to get less weight than the ones up here. So if you're playing out a phrase, you're going to give more volume and weight and velocity over here. Now all that's relative. It might be a quiet passage or a loud passage. But regardless, you're going to give the notes down here less volume, less velocity than the ones up here. So if I'm playing a C in this hand and a C in this hand, I'm going to play this one louder as opposed to them at the same. See the difference? And uh, if I play a chord, I'm going to play the notes towards this side with more um, velocity than ones over here, like this. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated. The more notes you play, the harder it is to do, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. You just have to kind of, in your mind, draw that line. If I played the both chords with the same velocity, it would sound like this. If I apply the technique, where I'm giving the most weight really to this last G. And this is most helpful if you're playing anything with a melody in it. As opposed to... The easiest way to kind of start training your fingers is to do notes individually. Like let's, with a C chord in the left hand and the C chord on the right hand, let's just go uh, from the bottom up, playing louder as we get up to the top. And now let's go down doing the same thing, starting loud. As you do this a few times, playing the notes individually, you'll begin to kind of psychologically train your fingers. And then you can put them together. As you can hear, the weight was put mainly in this top note, which is usually where the melody lies. Sometimes as you get more advanced, you can put the melody somewhere else, but usually it's going to be in the right hand towards the top. So let's listen to a passage played both ways. That's without the technique, and here's with. I didn't play it the same way both times, but you get the idea. It's much more expressive. It's really what makes you sound either like an amateur or a pro. It's very subtle, but it'll make a huge difference in your performances. Thank you so much for coming today. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys, and uh, be sure to check back often as I add more piano tips.